Hey guys, how's it going? Just Ben is back again, and this time I'm playing Magic 2015, Jewel of the Plane Walkers. Um, now, I decided to give this a go um, because I've, I've played it in real life, I've played it with a few friends, and I thought I'd just give the app a go. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is just kind of doing episode by episode for each of the battles and kind of seeing how that goes. And then once I've finished the campaign, um, I'm going to do some live streaming and recording with the uh, multiplayer, um, online duels, etc. Um, so let's see how it goes and uh, hope you enjoy it. So the first one is Living Death. Let's see how that works out. You are confronted by a terrible sight. The mangled body of a planeswalker. From the shadows you hear a mad giggling and a chorus of groans. The corpse begins to twitch and the ghoul caller Geisa emerges, happy to add another recruit to her, her army. I wouldn't have shown you this bit, but um, I once I finished the kind of tutorial um, fight that you have to do before you can get onto this, you have to choose your um, you have to choose what deck you want. Um, I chose a white and black, uh, life and death, um, because that's what I that's what I play. Um, in real life with cards <laughs> um, so I just kind of wanted to use the um, the game as kind of somewhere to sort of practice when I'm not playing against other people so let's carry on alright so what have I got so I've got f three planes and a swamp and then three other cards um, if I get this let's keep Right, well let's put one of these out and I can put this uh, change kettle out right, so let me show you what this card does basically a very basic card just needs one plane and uh, it's a creature but it's got life link so quite useful um, if you don't know what life link is basically any damage I do to my opponent I get back in health which is awesome especially for higher level cards sweet another swamp um, alright what I'm thinking is I'm gonna chuck out another swamp and then I'm gonna play the vampire and yet again this card um, slightly higher on the on the power um, but also got like life link so again but I mean that's what that's what I've kind of gone for um, I'm going for kind of being able to deal damage and sort of um, heal myself basically. Uh, I've also, well in, in my in my deck in real life I've also got a few cards that um, take away health but give me bonuses so what I thought is that if I've got things that take away health then I should counteract that with things that give me health. Uh, and so far it seems to have worked out so uh, Okay, well, I've got this card which is basically just destroy a creature, so an instant flesh to dust, wicked. So I think what I'm going to do is basically line that up to be able to play that. So let's have another quick look at it. Alright, so I need two swamps and three non colours. So I need to bring out two more. So I'll tell you what, let's, let's attack with both of these, nothing to block. So, by hitting him with three points at that time, obviously it's given me three more. Uh, the beauty of life link. Cool, so they're bringing out their first card, just a basic zombie. Some bizzle. Alright, another land. What have we got? Oh, I didn't mean to play that. Oh. Alright, so this one, Lone Missionary. Um, basic 2 1, um, but when he enters the battlefield, you get 4 life, so. Boom. Um, and I am going to skip attack this time. So 
what they got. Bringing out a snake. Well, big damage, but... Big damage, but as you can see, it's got bugger all health. So, um, it's not too much of a threat. If that does decide to attack me, I can pretty much take it out with one, 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 one. One, one, one. There we go. Oh, cool. Um, let's bring that one out. So I could get rid of I could get rid of the snake with the I forgot what it's called it's like a rotting fen snake. There we go. I could get rid of it with this uh, fleshed dust, but I'm gonna save that for now because um, I don't I don't think this, the fen snake is m rotting fen snake is much of a uh, threat to be fair. Not with my defence. Now that is a bit of a threat because. Uh, it's a flying card, so basically none of my cards at the moment can block it um, until I until I can either get an uh, either get an enchant that lets one of my guys fly or bring out a um, flying card. Right, so just played just played this blood foe connoisseur. And basically, it's a, again, it starts off as a very basic 1-1 one, one card. Um, but basically, it's got an ability where if I sacrifice another creature, I get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Blood Flow Connoisseur. So what I will probably do is, let me show you. See, I've got these two 1-1s one, here. I mean, I know they are a lifelink, but what I'm thinking of doing is... If I sacrifice a creature, let's get rid of one of those, and this gives me a 2-2, two -two, and it just sort of slightly increases my my defense. That's the plan anyway. <coughs> right, so that comes in tapped. Um, right, I'm going to skip attack. So what are you going to play, Live and Death? You gotta play. I should click continue. Yeah, so he's attacking with a carrion crow. Nothing I can do. Um. <laughs> Out another zombie. Another basic 2 2. Ah, oh, bam! Right, so this is this is what I was looking for, really. Um, so, let me show you what it does. So, what it does, it enchants a creature with plus one, plus two, and has flying. So, I will use it with Child of the Night because it's got life link. Um, so 3-3 three, three and flying so basically what that means is that I can defend against this one I've also got an extra uh, extra power point and two extra <laughs> excuse me two extra health points what it also means is that because now I can do three damage um, because I've got lifelink it will give me three health back which is awesome Right, and I tell you what, I'm going to attack with that, because it's going to put me up to 29, and well, I can't defend against the uh, carrion pigeon, whatever the fuck it is, next time, um, it can only do two damage to me. So, two step forward, one step back. <laughs> Snap. Okay, so I'm gonna defend against this dude and get rid of that card. Yeah, let's have a quick look, make sure nothing happens. No, so I can just kill that card. Card for a card. I've already used the ability in this one, gives me four health. So do your worst. Okay. And he's bringing out another zombie. Right, another 
swamp, not really anything I can do. Let's continue. I'm actually going to skip attack this time. Um, I don't think I'll. I don't think any of them are going to. Uh, where did this come from? Oh, okay. It's quite a high one. Good. Okay. Well, if this one does attack, then. I guess I'll have to use the uh, child of the... Or I could just do this. Should I do that? So what I could do, I could basically get rid of that card. Get rid of the 5-3 card, which is a bit of a threat. Um, just to destroy it. Let's do that. Nothing to worry about. Didn't think they would have hit. Shit. Oh well, that would have been two five threes that I would have had to deal with. Cool, let's play this one. Um, attended Knight. Uh, it gets First Strike, which is awesome. Um, basically what First Strike does, if you don't know, is that it lets you hit first um, and not take damage. So if you're if you're fighting against a 2-2, another 2-2, then it won't, we won't kill each other. I'll kill it, but it won't hit me, which is good. But it also puts another 1-1 knight on the battle, 1-1 uh, soldier on the battlefield, which is good, because then I can sacrifice that 1-1 to blood flow connoisseur and turn it into a 3-3. There we go. Continue. Right, I'm also going to attack with my vampire for three three. <coughs> right, let's see what happens. I don't think they'll let... Oh, okay. It's quite surprising. I suppose not really. Um, okay, well, I can defend against that one now and kill it. Do that. And I can also... No, I can't. Okay, no, so I can't I can't hit that one because it's a flying one, but I can at least take out this 5-3, even if it does mean sacrificing my, my vampire. Go. <laughs> So I take two hit from that, not too bad. There we go. Bit of a shame, but oh well. He's must. And he's bringing out another 5 3. Fair enough. Okay, cool. Well, let's play this. Um, basically, I can completely exile a creature. So. Get rid of that one. These might be a little bit of a waste on these, but because I've played this first one before, I don't think he brings out anything that's that's too too horrendous. To be fair, it's a bit of a crap way of winning, just kind of whittling whittling the uh, opponent down little by little. But it works. you get you get the good with the bad. You get these epic endings where you know you get this massive card combo and just completely destroy them and then sometimes you just have those matches where you are just sort of taking them down to three at a time oh cool that's a good card but that's his card um, so yeah nice 4-4 four, four. Um, but if I do kill it then it sends out two 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 black zombie creatures which is just fantastic. Ah, oh, this is a cool card, but I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to play it Dross yet. So, Resolute Angel, basically when when I play this card, um, my life, life total is becomes, well, it basically goes back to 20. That's the easiest way of saying it. 
um, which is which is wicked. There's been a couple of times where I've kind of played it as I've been getting like right down to like one or two health, um, and then just bam, send that one out and then back up to twenty, and they're like, fuck. So yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to hit him again. If he's going to hit me with that 4-4 next time, I haven't really got anything to defend with. Uh. Ah. Bird. Achievement unlocked. Alright, you say sacrifice the bird. Interesting. But he's still going to hit me with the 2 t with the, uh, still going to hit me with a 4-4. Uh, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him. The annoying thing is, he got seven, and I can hit for six. <laughs> oh, shit, that big gun. Uh, okay, I can send this one out. Um, basically, let me show you this one. Basically, I can just put three 1-1 one, one white spirit creatures with flying into the battlefield. Um, convoke, which basically means that if I don't have enough mana, then I can use some of these guys to tap uh, tap some of these guys to actually um, do it. So I've got enough mana, so I don't need to tap any of the, uh, uh, any of the permanents. And I'm going to... I'm going to hit him one more time. Again, little by little. I've got 30, he's got 4 now. So I could potentially end it in 2 rounds. And pretty... Unless he pulls something incredible out of his ass, then I'm pretty sort of safe in the knowledge that I can probably beat him. Tell you what, let's take him out. Let's take. Let's do that one. And I'm going to sacrifice these other two. Right, so. There's four of my cards dead, but that's what the two of theirs dead. And it saves me. a good number of points of damage. Another zombie. Um, what's that? When polluted dead dies, destroy a target island. Cool. Well, we'll aim to keep him alive. Uh, okay, cool. Another vampire. This one's um, this one's got an actor uh, ability as well. So if you pay two life, um, the shadow cloak vampire turns flying into the end. So I might actually use that. Um, no saying that I don't think I'm going to need to now. All right, yeah. Okay. Uh, saying that, if I if I turn him, uh, la, 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 la. yeah, no. Okay, fine. Let's take him for three. Right, so one health. Right, continue. Right, you're gonna attack. Gonna attack with your three three. Right. Well. Tell you what, it doesn't really matter what I do. Let, let's give him the hit, shall we? Let's give him the hit. I think I can afford it. Continue and let's finish this. 
nothing he can do to defend against this, so bam. I need that sound. Yes, he does. Alright, let's open the booster. See what we got. Dead weight and there have been blood, pure blood. I'll put both of those in my deck because they're better than some guards I've got. Um, let's get rid of. Oh, one so um, I'm going to stop the recording there. don't know whether to use that as an episode. Uh, I mean it's 20 minutes long. We'll see. 